I built an app that with one click can make me hundreds of flashcards to study any language I want. And I'm going to show you how you could do it too. Before I get into it, I looked at my subscriber counts and noticed today that I just hit 1000. That means there are 1000 of you out there who want to listen to what I have to teach. And that means a lot to me. Thank you to each and every one of you. I don't know if I should admit this because it might kind of make me look bad, but when I first started this YouTube channel and put out my first videos, I had no intention of helping anyone. I made my first videos on the Spotify API because I was applying for an internship at Spotify and I wanted my application to stand out. I had just learned to code and I wasn't in a comp site program and I had zero work experience. So I knew that there was no way for me to stand out amongst the hundreds, if not thousands of applicants who were more qualified than I was. And so that was kind of my way of standing out. I figured if I make this tutorial and I make it in different languages, they're going to notice me for sure. And guess what happened? Nothing. I did not get the internship, but I left those videos up. Over the following days and weeks, I noticed something. People were finding my tutorials and they were watching them. They were leaving really kind comments about how helpful it was for them. I felt something and I thought to myself, maybe I should do this kind of thing a little more often so I can keep feeling this. And so I started putting out more videos every now and then. And I started teaching programming in person, which has been one of the most fulfilling things that I've done in my entire life. I cannot thank you all enough for pushing me to grow in this way. I want to keep posting more. I want to start posting more often. And as a matter of fact, I have a few ideas for projects that are already in the works. One of those is the language app that this title is about. I've been studying French, Spanish, and Japanese for a few years now, and whenever I watch movies or read articles or talk to friends to get some practice, I often come across words that I don't know. And so I'll write those words down and tell myself that later on I'm going to come back to the words so that I can look them up in dictionaries, make flashcards, and then study those flashcards. I have a really big problem getting that second part done. And so over days and weeks and months, I end up with a long pile of words that are just sitting there in my notes app or in my notebooks that I never really get to study. And this is because looking up one word in a dictionary and making a flashcard out of it only takes a few seconds. But when you procrastinate and let that pile of words build up, it gets so big that I just look at it and say, okay, I'm not going to do this and I give up. And so I made an app that can solve this problem by allowing me to copy and paste an entire list of words and it'll automatically generate some flashcards for me with the word, a sentence that uses that word, and the English translation of that sentence. And if I don't like a particular sentence or don't find it very useful, I can just, with one click of a button, switch it out for a new one. And when I'm happy with the whole set, I can download the entire thing as a CSV and import it into my flashcard app of choice, which in my case is Anki. This was made possible because of something called the Tatoeba project. It's an open source project that's collected over 8 million sentences in pretty much any language you could think of, and it's all free to use. I downloaded the sentences, put them in a Postgres database, and then built a node app that can pull those sentences and serve them to the web through a React app. There are millions of sentences and the queries can be a little bit slow the way it is now, especially when I run it on my computer. Because of this, I chose to use WebSockets instead of REST. So that way I can request the words all at once, but get the sentences back gradually as they're pulled from the database. I really wish I had a live demo to uh, link to and show you all, but I don't want to host an app with that much data because I don't know how much it'll cost me. So instead, I'm just going to leave a link 
to the GitHub repository so that you can pull it and run it yourself locally. Over the next couple of weeks, I have three things to do. One is clean up the project. The front end could use some cleanup and the back end, I think I'm gonna switch it out for Rails because uh, Node and SQLize isn't as flexible and powerful when it comes to working with Postgres. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to build tutorials on it, probably just two, one for the front end and one for the back end, because some of you might just be interested in learning React and TypeScript. Some of you might be just interested in working with Rails, and some of you might be interested in building the whole thing. So I'm going to offer the tutorial in chunks so that you can uh, learn what you want to learn. And the third step, which you can all look forward to, is for me to put out said tutorials. I should have something out in a couple of weeks, maybe three, depending how busy life gets. And after this, I want to keep building projects and making tutorials from them. You can expect new tutorials about once a month. And just like I have been up to now, with every video tutorial, I will share the code on GitHub and I will make written tutorials for those of you who prefer learning that way. Once again, thank you all so much for helping me reach this milestone. Please keep liking and subscribing and sharing my tutorials with your friends and family who want to learn to build things. Stay safe and I will see you all next time.